Okay. So, you believe that Jesus was sinless? Uh, no. Huh? Doesn't does the Quran teach that Jesus sinned? Um, not necessarily, not but uh, he is human and he can sin. Yeah. Well, do you think that uh, it's possible that uh, Muhammad could have maybe taught some things wrong? Um, no. You think he's perfect? Um, not perfect, but he's uh, not teaching. Not Habib. He's human, but had the potential to sin, but he did. That's why he's only perfect. So he, he agrees that Jesus never sinned? No, he's saying that uh, saying that, uh, Prophet Muhammad um, had the potential to sin, but he didn't. That's why he's the perfect human. Oh, so you're saying Muhammad never sinned? No. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, let, let me ask you this. How do you get forgiveness for your sins? We pray to God. Um, we, we pray to God. Okay. Try to yeah. But let, let's say you, you break a law, right? There typically is a, a fine that is, yeah. is right. And just like in the court of law, in the human court of law. So it's the same in God's court. If we sin, there, there's a punishment and there has to be a payment. So, of course, Christians believe that the blood of Christ, right, it is the payment for our sin. Now, how do you pay for your sin? Hold up. So for us, there is, we don't need to have a mediator. We have a connection with God. You're able to take forgiveness from God. In the photo Directly from God. Forgiveness from God straight. And same in the Bible, it said that Jesus himself used to pray to God. Um, he used to bow down and worship. So, Jesus used to do that. What voice is cutting? What, what did he say? I think it was the voice. Uh, he just cut out. Yeah, repeat the last part. Well, it says like, basically what he's saying is like, we have a, we have a connection with God. <laughs> Reconnecting. Yeah. Uh -huh. but, uh, yeah, no, he's saying there's no mediator, even as yeah. he's saying inside the Bible. Um, it says that, that uh, Prophet, yeah. Prophet, Prophet Jesus, Jesus prayed he, to he prayed to God. Okay. Himself, yeah. Now, let me ask you guys this do you, do you believe that it's okay to beat your wife? No. That's against no. the religion. No. You're, that, that's for against the fact, you're going to go to help you hit your wife for no reason. No, but you can't hit her, right? At no, some... you cannot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the, uh, the there's Quran like does... certain, certain no, points. Okay. Certain yeah. points like no, very, listen. very high level. The, the Quran like, says. Super bad. Listen, yes, the Quran says. You could hit your wife, but what else does it say? Do you know? But in Christianity, um, it says that you can beat your wife for. Uh, oh no, no, not in Christianity. In Christianity, no. it, says, it says love your life. It says love your wife as Christ loved the church. It doesn't say you can beat your that, wife. That's basically the same thing that the state. Okay, no, but the, listen, listen. Okay, come, can you complete? Complete the example where it says uh, you could beat your wife. Uh, what does it also say? Um, I don't remember everything it says. I don't have the Quran because with Because in me. the verse itself, the it verse, says it, and then it continues. It doesn't just say, you can beat your wives, and then it continues. It says, you can beat, beat your wives, but then in, in, in only like specific certain situations where it's, uh, it's, it's necessary that you have to do it. Okay. But yeah. like, so there's, not, a, there's a limit to it. Yeah. Where so you it's, not, it's not exactly not, what you like think of beating. Listen, listen. It's not exactly like beating your wife, you know. Well, I'm not talking about punching and stuff like that. When you read the verse, it also continues and claims, you know, where there's some limitations that you have to follow. For example, you can't hit her in the face, or you can't like bruise her. I don't exactly know the, the rest or something. Yeah, I think it is one of the things that Sheikh talked about is that you can't have any phys actual physical harm. Physical harm, uh, no bruises, no nothing. No, yeah, like, like you can't have like any other you mark. If any face. other mark happens, sir, then it's and all then, on you. Now the hadith talks about this verse and it also goes on and it says uh, Prophet, Prophet Muhammad gives an example is like if I want to hit my wife he got like a, a toothpick like a little stick and this is this is as much as I could do no no I know you must have that Quran on there do you, can you look the verse up and see what exactly it says I mean I'd like to see the exact verse not just that also do you oh, I'll go ahead uh, Sorry. do you believe do you, do you believe in the Trinity? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. So let me let me ask you a question. Do mm -hmm. you? Okay. So if if you believe that that, that Jesus is what is like a part of God, right? Uh, well, he's he, he's he's uh, one of the three persons of the Godhead. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, but he was sent down like multiple others, right? What would what what made him different than, for example, let's just say yeah, Prophet uh, Isaiah, or, uh, Isaiah, or, sure. or Adam, yeah, or sure. Abraham, yeah, sure. or any of them? Well, Why aren't they like part of that? that like, sure. Well, for one, he's the creator. You know, the, the creation versus creator. Adam was cr created. Uh, we don't believe Jesus was created. He's always been. He's the Alpha and Omega, like it says in uh, Book of Revelation. So. 
uh, God is is eternal. But in the Bible, it also says it doesn't say that he's the son of God, because in the Bible it calls all his, all his followers the son of God. Like there was a guy who explained that, a Christian guy who explained that, a Christian mm -hmm. scholar who explained that Jesus isn't the son of God because he was called the son of God. It was like, all right, my sons come here. Like when a when a priest says my sons come here, he doesn't mean that you're his actual son. It just means that you're a follower of his. That's what. A Christian scholar once described it as he said he's not calling him his actual son, but he's calling him like how metaphorically, metaphorically like a disciple, like someone who follows you. Like, well, well let like, me let me ask you this. Like, wait, let me tell oh, you go something. Ahead, sorry. Like when a teacher says, uh, "My t my children have been bad," they're not her actual children, but they're her they're her children in the sense that they're her students. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's what the guy was trying to say. He mm -hmm. was trying to say that when God said He calls him my son, it's not his actual son, but like. From how a teacher is to a, to, to his student. Like well, well, you know, in John, in the book of John, he says, "Before Abraham was, I am," and that is actually referring to the I am of the Old Testament, who is God. So he was, and that's why they wanted to stone him because he was claiming to be God at that point. So, do you believe the New Testament scriptures? Uh, let me let me ask you a question. The, yeah. Okay, you know how there's there's many versions of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Um. Which I like the King James you? personally, King James version. But well, why are Wait, there so many? Where does it come versions? from? Where does it come from? Where does it, um, well, it, we know that uh, we know like that an author can change whatever he wants. Uh, for example, like in the Quran, everything just, dates back. It says, um, "I said to he said that he said that he said that he said that Sayyidina Muhammad said that this this is what the, uh, that this happened." Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and the Bible doesn't say that. So what what do you what do you what have so that? What do you no, have so that it like, shows that, that it passed all the way back? Well, yeah, uh, we know that there's a lot of so different, that, uh, of course, the, yeah, it was written I, in Greek, the right, the New Testament, like, and there was a lot of different uh, uh, copies of it, right, that were, you know, they, they basically, they, 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 they looked at the copies and, and written out what they see is, is the same in each one, so there's, there's a lot of historical evidence uh, that, that proves it's, it's uh, you know, trustable. You can suggest faith in it. that it does. Uh, well, the thing it's is, suggesting like it, it, you, you don't, you don't, hundred percent for sure. No, well, it goes back all the way because any uh, on the way down there, somebody could have changed something. Uh, well, you could say the th same thing about the Quran, of course, right? I mean, I mean, you could say that, yeah, but but when 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 he's saying there, like like I pass it on to you, and mm -hmm. you say the exact same thing that I said, yeah, and and like I make sure of it. And then you pass it on. Then mm -hmm. I know that for sure you said the same thing that I said. Mm -hmm. And and it says it like like there's pages on pages, in like like the the, the books of Hadith. It says it says this guy, this man um, said it from this man from this man from this man from this man all the way back. And it dates back, back to Sayyidina Muhammad. But but you're 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 so you're saying that uh, nothing could have been fallible with the Quran, but just the Bible. Now this is the interesting thing about the Bible. Yeah. Let me tell you this: the the Bible has 66 books, yeah. right? And it's prophetic. So you have you know different authors over long periods of time. Now the Quran is just one book written by one man. I mean, I can make a whole religion right just by myself. But the the Bible it, it all works together. You have the Old Testament that talks about all these blood sacrifices that the Jews did, and then it and it, and it kind of crescendos into the the Lamb of God who comes and takes away the sins of the world, shed blood of Christ, right? And it all works together over thousands of years, right? You have all of this information that. Co coincides and, and 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 gives you a powerful story of evidence of what is the the Jews what were they about what you know the prophets prophesied that Christ would come in Isaiah 53 right and and so there's there's a lot of evidence that prophetically historically you know that that Jesus came do you believe he came and you know, even about even the Quran says he came and existed yeah but and the truth is he was crucified also and he was the lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world one, yeah but I have a few questions about Christianity yeah. I've never understood. Mm -hmm. All right, so you, you guys say that Jesus, he took all the sins for you guys, right? Yeah. Does that mean that every Christian will go to uh, heaven? Uh, yeah, you're born again, yeah. So everyone, no matter so you what. you do whatever you want. So no matter, no well, matter your crime. He, he changes you. You know, the, I don't do the same things I used to do. I used to use foul language all the time, used to party all the time, and drink, you know, and, and well, do a lot of... See, so he changes you. Old, so become like, Christian, and then you still do that. Does that mean you still go to? Well, we're not. The thing about Christianity, uh, you know, we're not uh, 
saved by our works, okay? We're saved by God's mercy, right? Okay. Just like it talks about in, in uh, I believe it's Luke 8. It's the same thing in the uh, in uh, Islam where you're saved yeah. by God's mercy. But you yeah. also have to play a role in that. You, got, yeah. like, you can't just go kill, like, massacre, like, 500 people sure. and say, it's like, it's like God, in a class where's your mercy? It's like yeah. in a class If you don't do the homework, the, yeah. you're not you going to play the, 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 yeah. the, the, sure, with the teachers, you know, the mercy yeah. and maybe get into it. Yeah. You have to play your role. You have to do your homework. Oh, yeah. God, God actually, calls us to serve Him, to obey Him. Absolutely. And you will reap what you sow. If you continue to do evil, he's going to chastise his children, right? He's chastised me. He'll ch any of his true children. But he's he going to chastise them. you in this world. Absolutely, and not absolutely. In the next. Uh, well, yeah. You should, hopefully, yeah. You should get all your all your dirt, you know, fixed by the time you die, right? You know, as far as you know, if you have any issues between you and the Lord, I mean, he's going to deal with you while you're alive, right? Yeah. Of course. But like, yeah. if you think about it, like, then there's no point. Then if if that's the case, there won't be any reason for any Christian to fear anything, like. He'd be just a wild person. Like, oh no, no, no! Again, again, like I said, you will reap what you sow. There's warnings. There's warnings for the people that fornicate. There's warnings against adulterers. Yes, but if and the all punishment that. is here, like it's almost nothing. Say I kill someone. All that's gonna like say the worst the thing jail. that happens to me is not just jail. Say I escape murder. Uh, I divorce my wife. That's the worst thing that happens. Like it's not really a punishment when there's always a solution to the next thing. Like. Oh, I, my girlfriend leaves me. No, oh, tomorrow there's another girlfriend, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, there's no real punishment in this world if you think about it. Because anything that happens to you today can be solved within the next few hours or the next day. You get, you, lo you lose your uh, job, the well, next week you have another job. Well, if you commit a murder, right, that, that could cause a lot of problems for your life. What if... <laughs> no, no, but I'm <laughs> saying like, wait, 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 wait. I'm saying like, say you commit murder and yeah. then uh, you escape prison. Like, you don't go into prison. No one finds out because there's there are those cases that no one finds out. Yeah. What happens to you? Like, you say you're going to... God's gonna uh, punish you here, but is it really a punishment? Like, say you don't, you don't get jail time, but like your girlfriend, you lose your girlfriend, and that's well, the well, punishment here. Well, well I, you're gonna reap what you sow. One way or another, your sin will find you out. You know, so you might think you got away with something, but those people that get caught after years and years of thinking they got away with something and they still get caught. That's in Islam too, where you never escape a. Anything here, but if nothing yeah. happens here, it's gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna get judged exactly in the eternity. What does uh, Christianity say about murder, though? Because in Islam, it says if you kill one person, mm -hmm. it's like killing all of humanity. They say, like, I'm it's uh, well, one person, like taking a single yeah. life, even yeah. an animal life. Like, I, I kill that okay. cat right there. Mm -hmm. What happens here? Like, it, it'll be counted almost the same as me killing you. Well, it's, it's like this we're made in God's image, and, and uh, you know. Definitely a serious punishment for killing someone made in God's image. You know, like God, God takes that serious no. if you harm any of His people. So, it's it's serious. You know, God does. God calls us to love each other, not hurt each other. Well, what's the punishment of murder, though? Well, it used to be you know eye for an eye type thing. I mean, but like no, but that's here though. Like talk about uh, if you because say an eye for an eye, right? Say you kill yeah. someone, they kill you. You're gonna find yourself in heaven. Like, who cares about this earth? You know? <laughs> like, if, if you were to offer me heaven, like, guaranteed heaven, like, hell, get you, do yeah. whatever you want to me. You know? Yeah. Well, it, God's a fair judge. You know, he's, he he judges each of us fairly. So he knows exactly how much to punish us and how to punish us. He says, "Vengeance is mine," saith the Lord. I will repay. So whoever does anything wrong, you know, he's gonna repay correctly. But he'd repay you here, though. Yeah, absolutely. But he, here's the point, though. But then that makes no effort. Then, like, if I don't go to church, God's not gonna care. Heaven, anyways. Uh, like there's nothing for you to work for like that kind of brings the like well it's not, it's, it's, it kind no, of sounds no, no. too good to be true you know well no usually that, when it does sound good, too good to be true it is yeah, too good to be true well it's the, the the thing about salvation and the eternal life is is when the holy spirit fills you he's going to lead you his path and it's not an easy path he took me on a very difficult path i think i, I found go, the verse uh, here you okay talking nice about, to meet you okay yeah i'll talk to you later yeah I think I found the verse you're talking about, okay. which is uh, Al Nisa, uh, verse 34. Of what surah? Uh, surah Al Nisa. Wait, what? Oh. Al Nisa, which means the woman. Okay. Uh, and this verse is the one that says, uh, I think this is the one you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Men are the protectors and the men. All right. Men are the protectors and maintainers of women mm -hmm. because Allah has given the one more strength than the other, which is the, the man. Mm -hmm. So therefore, like I, I'd, I'd have to take care of my wife rather than my wife would take care of me. Yeah. And it's mostly like you know, physical and like uh, wealth as well. Yeah. And because they support them from their means, okay. yeah, I, the other I they support them. Yeah, and because they support them from the means, mm -hmm. therefore the righteous women are devoutly obedient and guard in the husband's absence while Allah would have them guard. Which I'm guessing, uh, I'm not sure about this part. Mm -hmm. I don't know, really know what means, like what guard means. Yeah. Maybe it means like they're, you know, physical, like, you know, 
they're, like they're not gonna go out naked, stuff like that. Yeah. They sleep with other men. I think that's what. Uh, but I'm not sure. You know? mm -hmm. And as to those women on whose part you fear disloyalty and ill conduct, these are the women that you know that will do the things that are like you know adultery and like, sure. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. These are the women I think that. that and then this is when it says admonish them first, next refuse to share their bids. Mm -hmm. Honestly, what, do, what does admonish mean, do you know? It means like to uh, encourage them, guide them, uh, speak to them, you know, kind of uh, admonishment is kind of like a correction. Right. Yeah. So admonish them first, next refuse to share their beds, and last beat them lightly. But if they return to obedience, seek not against them means of annoyance, for Allah is most high great above, above you all. So then, then it says, uh, and then beat them lightly. Mm -hmm. Now there, there is a hadith where it explains like that a little bit more in detail. I don't know, I can't find it, mm -hmm. but uh, it does talk about like what are the uh, limitations of like beating a wife, you know, so-called, where you know there's a like like I said like where you can't have a bruise, you can't hit the face and stuff like that. And then Prophet Muhammad goes on to say like if I wanted to hit my wife, uh, he he has he gives an example of having like a toothpick on like it's called a aoud where you like it's kind of like a toothbrush where you clean your teeth. Mm -hmm. They said like this is all I could do. Hmm. And it's not like physical, like you know, going yeah. and, like Mayweather on them or something. Like that. <laughs> Mayweather. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then, and then it says, but if they return to obedience, like if they you know, if they, if they want like repent and they're, yeah. you know, they they change themselves, then yeah. you know, and then don't seek against them, which means don't go against them. Like you know, you did this already. Like screw you, I'm not gonna mess with you. Anymore. Yeah. Like actually, okay, you know, listen to them or like mm -hmm. see what happened. You know, like be be more rational kind of. Yeah. And then, uh, and then it says, for Allah is the most high, great above you. Now, if they I, keep being disobedient, what do you do? Then, I'm not sure, but me, I don't, actually, I'm not sure, so I don't, I okay. can't tell you. Okay. okay. No. If I don't know, then I'm not going to say. Yeah, that's a good, 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 good thing. That's how I am, too. So, he had a nine-year-old wife, correct? That's uh, a little controversial. Allah, I'm not sure exactly. There's no hadith that says the actual age of Sabna Aisha. All we know, she was young, but not maybe not a nine-year-old. Nine -year I'm not sure exactly, and I don't think there is a hadith that specifically says the age of Sidna Aisha. Okay. But he did have yes, uh, like a, a fairly young wife, you could say, but not not to the point of actual child. Let's like, uh, talk about Sidna Aisha. Awesome. Like uh, he says, it's, uh, she was a nine-year-old, but there was no actual. You want to go in the shade? Boom. Um, sure, we can over here if you want. Do you have a hadith that uh, specifically claims that oh, Sitna Aisha was nine years old? I, I, I read it somewhere and I can't remember exactly where. I didn't come uh, as prepared for, I was aiming more for the scientific minded today, so I didn't bring as much of my Muslim information, Islam information, but <laughs> you know, yeah, that's, uh, but they, yeah, that's, um, that's what I hear, I've read, you know, she was nine years old uh, when they consummated the marriage. Um, so. Let, let's say that that's true. Do you think that that's a good thing, or? Now, I actually uh, I asked my sheikh that question before, and this is the, the example he gave, or like what the explanation for this. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, uh, whatever. <laughs> so he, he the sheikh said he told me that yes, he the uh, Sidna Aisha was young, but mm -hmm. like not as young as like a child, like a child, not mm -hmm. like a previous child. Because back then, like ch back uh, then, child, children were like very very young. Like what is it? Like what is it? Twelve? Like a young man would be twelve. Twelve is like what? Like he he can carry a whole family. Back then, yeah, back things then. were different, obviously. So even like a twelve-year-old is not the same as a twelve-year-old right now. Even now, eighteen years old, like over there, eighteen years old, you're a grandfather, but not old. Like at that time, <laughs> when they started, like, remember this was like fourteen hundred years ago. It's not the same. Like you come, you're you you basically using the lens of today's into that into that past. So you yeah, know, you know, it's hard to compare. And things, the same thing was uh, happening too back on say now Jesus time, Jesus. Well. Anyways, let me explain. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah. But like, uh, we'll continue. The reasoning behind Sidna Aisha being so young uh, was that she, that's why we call her the mother of like uh, the Ummah, because the Prophet the, uh, Muhammad, uh, she was his, uh, like his main student because he knew that she would, uh, what's it called? She would live, outlive him, right? And therefore she would teach, she would carry on the message after he, he died. Not as a prophet, mm -hmm. but as like a, a teacher. Yeah. Uh, right? So um, in the beginning of her life, a lot of the time it was her learning from Sayyidina Muhammad the hadith, like the 
the verses and the uh, especially the like Sharia you could say as well. And then when after he died, she's the one who took role of that knowledge, like you know, like li a library kind of. So mm -hmm. when uh, the Sahaba would need to ask a question, they would go to Sidna Aisha and ask her about like the fiqh or like the uh, the Sharia or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's that, that's the explanation. Mm -hmm. No, I got from him. I mean, I'm maybe something that I'm missing, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not a scholar or anything. Sure, sure. Well, the, one thing I know is like a lot of I've seen a lot of uh, marriages between uh, you know uh, Muslim men and children because they they have child brides. You know, I've seen on YouTube and stuff like that. So I it mean, seems like they're following I mean, that like, path. I mean, where do you see that? It's very like rural areas. It's, yeah, it's always it's, it's always, always like it's always like. like, like uh, I don't wanna, and it's I don't something so weird country, that it like maybe maybe like Afghanistan where it's like there's no internet yeah or there's no like uh, they don't no have even the like brightest knowledge I think there was a research done by like Muslims they went to like these rural areas and asked them like you know quick question which means fiqh is like the uh, knowledge of Islam like scholarly knowledge mm -hmm. and they ba asked them like some basic things like you know uh, like prayer related questions and whatever some things that a lot of people like in the city or people who went know. to school would know or should yeah. know and they don't know. Mm -hmm. you know some of them don't even uh, like that can't read it's the just Quran. a lack of knowledge mm -hmm. so yeah. to them they think uh, uh, first of all a lot of it is cultural by the way you know, that part like in Afghanistan or like in Yemen for example mm -hmm. in Yemen it was always a cultural thing to have a child right you know but it was not exactly it's not something Islamic although they are Muslim mm -hmm. you know but it isn't exactly like a, like for example like the women can't drive in Saudi people think it's like a, that's an Islamic reason they may no, say it was an Islamic culture. reason. It was a cultural. They, they, they in fact, in fact, what is it? Most, uh, before, before Islam, uh, what is it? Uh, women were treated so horribly, like what? They would be, uh, they would be buried alive. Uh, like there was no, get away. Islam was like the first, the first, uh, the first. Uh, what is it? Uh, I just totally forgot. Uh, religion that actually, you know, told them, you know, men and women are supposed to be the same. Same, uh, except except where where where, now, where it's needed to be. Yeah. Now it says same, but in the context of in the image of God, we're both the same. So like uh, the sins or the uh, like the deeds, they're equal. So for example, if I go I do a, a good deed, like if I help you out off the ground, I will get the same deeds as if a woman who came and helped you off the ground. I won't get more because I'm a man. But obviously, physical attributes. Yeah. Yeah. The, you know, yeah women are supposed story. to be respected the same as men. Um, it's just it's just it explains that for example uh, that that the men are more dominant on the women because uh, because of what you know God had provided to them what they're like more muscular more bigger physically and it, and it, even mentally there's uh, there's like studies that have been like what is it uh, they use more more common sense the women women usually refer to their emotional I'm not saying they're dumb women. No, 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 no. It's just, it's just, <laughs> These women are more emotional. Like emotional. Yeah. Because they're, they're, they're physically more emotional. Versus that's, factual yeah. sometimes. That's why like men, in, in a traditional Islamic household, the men would have to, would work. A woman can work as well if needed, but traditionally speaking, if it's possible, the men could, uh, has to work, and the women would take, take care of the take care of the kids. children, yeah. So the yeah. household. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. now, do you guys agree with the Old Testament, all of it, or? What do you mean by the Old Testament? The Old Testament and the Bible. The Bible Testament? Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure exactly like uh, what I know about it. You know, I I'm, I never studied the Old Testament nor the New Testament. Because it seems like in Islam they promote actually the book. They call the people the book. Have you read that before? Yeah. 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 So, um, and, and if he talks about Jesus and that Jesus existed and that Jesus did miracles, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, the only difference, the main danger, I should say, the major difference, I guess, is that Jesus. We believe he never sinned, and I, I think that there's somewhere. That it alludes to that in the Quran, but I don't have that with me right now. But if you think about it, the, you know how he, he said, the, uh, you said that that uh, he had miracle. I mean, there's other m m many other prophets actually had miracles. Um, in the so Quran, actually, yeah, yeah. Um, the prophet, what is it? Uh, Abraham. Musa, for example. Abraham. Was it Ibrahim? Was it not? Uh, Ibrahim. Yeah. Say in Abraham, where where they tried to what is it burn him, right? On the stage. Oh yeah. That. And then and then and then what is it? The fire became cool. Like it, was, it, was cool it didn't burn him at all. Yeah. I mean that that, a that's a miracle right there, or or Prophet Moses where he like you know he slammed you know the stake and then the the, the, the water yeah, just the whole, nice. the whole it wasn't ocean exactly, split. It wasn't the only one who uh, performed miracles. Mm. Well, uh, you know, do you, do you think that the the whole kill the infidel in the Quran is that a good thing to have in there? Oh no no no. no. The kill the infidel is okay, a different. Okay, this, this is a different. Sorry. Um, okay, technically speaking, 
Um, and the Quran doesn't really specify that you're supposed to like kill anyone that's infidel. It's more like if they commit a crime, um, if they start talking bad about is uh, that, no, that's apostasy. That's apostasy. And infidel, are you talking about like you know like non-believers stuff like that? Yeah. Okay. Well, they call me the, that. In the oh, Quran, no, no. In the context, it just the context, yeah. In the Quran, the context is just, uh, yeah. what's it called during war, like during a battlefield. That verse, I forgot what verse it was, but it was said if like they wherever you. you find them, kill them. You know, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, about. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was talking about like uh, the context is like them in the battlefield. So, for example, if like we are now we're fighting with another uh, tribe, because uh, we we believe like if we're Muslims, we're not supposed to fight at all. Like you know, never. Yeah, like, they say they the say uh, don't don't attack. Them. If they attack you, then kill them. Then attack them. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, not supposed to do if that we get all. attacked, then in that case where if we're in war, then I you know. Sorry, but like I'm look for you and I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I, I can't. I, I um, mean, I agree. Even, it's like, even even if, it's like, violent, like, whatever, like, even whatever. Like, even if you look you know, about it, uh, if you think about it, um, there's many people that say Islam was spread by the sword. It was, I mean, in fact, it wasn't. It was more like they sent messengers to other, uh, like for example, like the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire would would attack or would kill, you know, the, the messengers. Uh, and in that case, then they would, you know, they would invade. But they would they would only kill whoever attacked them. Like for example, you're not supposed to kill women, elderly, and kids. You're not supposed to touch them. You know, you, you, it's a, that's actually a crime if you kill them. But well, then they make some of them like like uh, uh, forced into uh, marriage and stuff. Like they, they could take no, no, the captors you, or the the enemies, yeah, women, and you're right. But you can't. But, but they, they can't become slaves. You, 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 they, they, but imagine if you, you could. Like, a the, woman, term, the term right? slave uh, in the context of Islam is a little different than the. Uh, I'm, I know, like.